Thanksgiving just a week away, and it's time for No Bad Days with Barrett. Nine on Your Side has teamed up with the Tucson Fire Department to keep your family safe. This week, Captain Barrett Baker shows us the do's and don'ts of turkey fryers. Thanksgiving is next week, a time for giving, turkey, pumpkin pie, and beating Arizona State in football. Now, cooking that turkey, what to do? Baking the turkey is one way to go, but the turkey fryer is another one, in case you don't know. First, location, location, location. The fryer has to be set up outside and away from anything combustible. Kids and pets must be kept away from the fryer. On top of that, a flat surface is a must. The fryer will be top heavy and easy to tip over. You will have a hot oil spill and the turkey will be ruined. Here's a little trick to measure how much oil you use when cooking your turkey. Place the turkey in the fryer with water first. Measure how much liquid it takes to get the proper amount for the turkey. Not measuring can cause an overflow of the oil and again, burns, spills, and potentially worse. Dry your turkey completely. Again, dry the turkey completely. Partially frozen and or wet turkeys can produce excessive hot oil splatter when added to the oil. Two final tips. Once you start cooking, never leave the fryer unattended. Something little can turn into something very big if you aren't there to stop it. An all-purpose fire extinguisher is a great thing to have as well. And follow the instructions, especially if you decide to fry something other than a turkey. Food, friends, family, and fun. There's more than one way to cook that bird, but whatever your pleasure, remember the little things and get to the dinner table safely. As for Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, There'll be no safety for you. Bear down. <laughs> He's such a turkey. He, he is. Isn't he? <laughs> he needs to take his show on the road. Whoa, and I think he is taking his <laughs> show on the road. <laughs> By the road, what do we mean? <laughs> I like it. Good to see you How you doing? Hi, Captain Baker. Thanks nice for being you. with us. Guy, I didn't do any wigs or anything that you think we should use going forward. <laughs> we always have a little bit of fun, don't we? <laughs> They're great. And uh, thank you for supporting the, the safety messages. I mean, we try to keep it loose and, and yeah. keep it light and have a lot of fun with it, but obviously uh, it's been a great deal of fun, but the safety message is the important part. Right. And uh, if you have any good ideas moving forward, uh, we're more than willing to hear them. Great. Okay. You know, it's been a great, it's been a great cooperation with you guys. Like you said, the the message is what's important to get out there. Right. And we hope that you guys have had a little bit of fun with us in doing that too. Yeah. So. My personal pride, it, I, the Julia Child is probably a little <laughs> bit tougher. Did you think about that? It was a little rough, but you, know, <laughs> you can work well, on it. I don't know. I mean, I had to practice that for a little while. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, guys, this is totally unplanned. None of this. Somebody planned it. We didn't know anything uh, about well, it. Well, it's not April Fool's. Were so. you the class clown? Had a helper. I would. Other people should probably weigh in on. That. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking forward to more of your safety tips. It's They're been a fun great thing. and entertaining and important. Thanks so. for the support. We've enjoyed it. Thanks, Captain. Thanks for stopping by. We'll be back right after this. <laughs>